Hello friends, welcome again in this tutorial series on PLC letter programming. As we discussed uh, introduction uh, of the PLC uh, and uh, introduction to letter programming in previous presentation, now in this tutorial I am going to introduce you about GX developer, uh, its functions and uh, demonstrate you letter logic programming on this platform. Ladder logic is a PLC programming language that simulates uh, the functionality of a relay circuit. Uh, ladder logic is based on the circuit line diagrams. A line diagram is an electrical blueprint that accurately lays out uh, the relationship of component in a circuit. You can think uh, of a line diagram in the same way uh, you would a uh, you would a uh, blueprint uh, in construction work. Both are key documents that explain a fundamental structure of layout. Uh, a line diagram tells you uh, what material are involved and uh, how the various device and loads are connected to each other. So line diagram are very useful uh, when they are designing control circuits and uh, also uh, a helpful reference when troubleshooting a malfunctioning circuit. If you want to begin programming logic controllers you must understand uh, the logic that uh, they use. So PLC rely on Boolean algebra. So PLC programming involves binary number to produce yes or no response. This yes or no system fits uh, well with the letter logic that was already used in electrical work. A truth table is used to show all the possible combination for a given logic function. So end logic is similar to the three circuit and OR logic is similar to the parallel circuit. Here too uh, A and B uh, normally open relay are used which are the control by input A and B. Now not logic uh, allow uh, current to pass any time uh, if an input is not true. So here too uh, A and B uh, and uh, these are the not uh, uh, closed relay. Uh, are used uh, I'm sorry here two A and B uh, normally closed relay are used which are the controlled by input A and B in the same way we can check the NOR and uh, XOR letter logic now let us uh, 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 learn the procedure of programming with GX developer. So open GX developer. Click on new project. So select the PLC on which you want to work. Uh, then select PLC type. I'm going to work on Q02H type PLC so I select QCPU Q mode and PLC type Q02H. Programming type is ladder. So you can make the directory for the project uh, with the uh, name and title name along with the path where you want to save your project. So I'm not going to save any project so leave it. Okay and okay. So let us know JS uh, uh, developer software and some of uh, some of its function. So this is the main toolbar uh, or standard toolbar. Provide the basic editing tools such as cut, copy, paste, print, and uh, write to PLC, uh, read from PLC, uh, the data entry mode or entry data monitor, batch monitor, or this is device test is a check parameter. And this is a uh, uh, ladder toolbar. The third row is a ladder toolbar. Provides tool to create ladder programs, uh, ladder diagrams or programs. Tools including contact, coil, application instruction, etc. So those are the hide. These are the use for a sequence uh, um, uh, function code toolbar. So as uh, uh, I choose ladder programming, so they are automatically hide. 
these are the uh, um, project data list here is the project data list provide the project component like the main program uh, comment uh, comment and etc main program here is the comment network parameter plc parameter network parameter remote etc this shows the status bar okay so now uh, i'm going to uh, demonstrate you uh, ladder logic programming for end and then NAND logic so we start with the input uh, normally uh, open uh, relay so name it x1 uh, for Mitsubishi PLCs x is denoted input and y uh, is the output so you can take x1 or x0 as a a and x1 as a b so click on it so set the output now uh, convert it to the code as uh, plc not understand the ladder programming so need to convert then start uh, ladder logic test it takes few seconds these LED types shows the uh, status of the program so our program is run now click on the uh, entry data monitor so select the device x0 as a register x1 register and the y0 the output now uh, change the value or start the monitor so here the x0 uh, and x1 are uh, 0 0 uh, as they are not, uh, uh, not any input applied here so this is the main program okay. you can click on the window and select the cascade so here the data entry monitor you can uh, set the value uh, uh, or turn on uh, x0 by forcefully so it force on ok now x1 also turn on so close it now output uh, uh, updated and uh, become 1 check the ladder so x0 is 1 x1 is also 1 so output is also 1 so this is the for the end gate ok data monitor we are uh, force to 0 any one of the input so force off so close it and check the status so output is become 0 so now close it when we test uh, our program uh, it automatically goes to the read mode only so uh, convert it to the write mode and as a logic test now i am going to demonstrate uh, NAND uh, logic uh, ladder logic ok so normally uh, connected switch are used normally connected ok so uh, this rail uh, is a power rail or which is uh, show 120 volt AC or DC and this is connected to the ground so in which our uh, to contact uh, or relay and this is a uh, uh, output or motor or whatever you want to control ok now uh, start with the convert convert it then click on the test
program run again successfully so here the status of the output is on as a, a, a normally connected uh, relay are used so here the input is zero but uh, they are normally connected so output becomes zero okay when we apply any input on it output goes to zero so device x0 is force on now check the status y0 goes on uh, turn off x1 is still uh, on as there is no uh, no uh, there is uh, no input so apply here also one so force on it goes zero all right so uh, other lo uh, ladder logic uh, uh, we can implement on it and uh, can check so move to the next now the limitation of the uh, uh, ladder logic ladder logic makes it difficult to program advanced sequential process uh, newer more powerful PLCs may use function block programming or a diagram function block diagram has data blocks linked together by wires contains on sheets it is widely used in Europe and many North American uh, controller are starting to use it like uh, ladder logic a function block diagram is a graphical language uh, these diagram follow most of uh, the same logical ideas that lo uh, ladder logic does but allow you and the PLC more flexible you can uh, program complicated sequential process a function block diagram allow you uh, to reference bit data in more way than ladder logic does okay so this is the end of this tutorial so thank you